Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Seo with Mimi Shiosli Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the hearts. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on those channels. If you snooze, you do all. You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the juice brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the juice? Acid heart. <laughs> Guys, talking about the juice, acid heart. Yeah. Um, still talking about how everything transpired on Sunday with the eviction of the Tammy pair. You know, the housemates, they came back to the realization that truly, truly, they are in for the game. You know, after eviction, that is when the housemate tried to sit up. That is when the housemate, after Ibuka has dropped one or twos, in as much as Ibuka did not really drop grenades, you know, yesterday, but he actually dropped a word, which was, some of you all, your pairs are the one carrying you. The rest are just stagnant. You're not even making a move. Nothing, 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 nothing. If you remember, if you vividly remember that um, yesterday, the scenario and how everything played out, you would see that the camera zoomed on Victoria whilst Ebuka was saying whatever he was saying. And then after the eviction, Ebuka left the screen. The housemates are also left with reality. <laughs> the ones who are actually who were actually mentioned among the bottom let's still leave that part first off but sean went to victoria to have a convo with her so sean was like telling victoria that hey baby girl you have to buckle up because for the chatoria pair i think i am the one carrying this pair for the what's the code for the What's the name of checkers? Yes, I wanted to say I'm um, Chizoba pair. Yeah, checkers. That's um, obviously Onyeka is the one carrying the pair. So Sean is trying to tell Victoria to sit up, set up convo with the housemate, make connections with the housemate. Because literally, the game is left with the housemate right now, you know. So they have to make the connections, have to talk to people, so that when the need arises, they would be saved. So he was like saying the same thing, like using Onyeka for an instance, like, oh, Onyeka has actually bought the heart of the people. Hence why she do not even need to fret because why the housemates would definitely save her. So he felt like, um, what's her name? Victoria is holding up too tight and she needs to loosen up a little. And I think he's not wrong with everything he said to Victoria. We all know personalities differs, you know, the way people get to communicate with people differs, the way people get used to people also differs. I think that's the case of Victoria. While Sean finished speaking with Victoria, he also spoke with Onyeka. Of course, you guys know how Onyeka cried her eyes out during the eviction night. So Sean was talking to Onyeka and be like, girl, you have actually spread your wings so you can fly. You are somebody who actually has gotten to the hearts of so many of the housemates. So why were you scared during that time? Baby girl was like, she is really so surprised to see that she was at the bottom and everything. Sean was like, I knew you were not going because you, you have built that connection. Your sister Chizoba, you are the one carrying the pair of the Chekas. Now talking about carrying the pair, the Chekas pair, um, Chizoba felt so emotional that is, Onyeka's elder sister, she felt so emotional after the eviction, how everything played out. She was literally crying. It was her turn to cry because previously it was the sister crying. So she was at the locker room, that is the dress room. She was crying and the sister was telling her, see, do not be pet up. I'm like, oh, wow. 
Onika, you are advising your sis right now. And that is a sweet one to know because you her cry and everything. People were saying a lot. She's trying to manipulate the housemates and whatnot. You know, that is emotional blackmail. So she was telling the sister that you should stop crying. At least the God who gave us this grace have gave us for give us for a reason. The Tammy pair, you are even here crying, but there are some people who left today. Does it mean that their owners finish? The Tammy pair who left today does not mean that things are not going to go well with them outside of the house. Some of the times, the people who even left early would do better than so many people who would stay for a very long while in the house. So she had the convo with her sister and then she also had convos. In fact, she was just everywhere, you know, had conversation with um, Anita of the Nelita pair. And all Anita was doing was just trying to tell Onyeka to be herself, that she should never change for whom she had started to be on this show. You know, Onyeka was like everything she was doing on the show, and yes, she appeared, but um, Anita was like, remember, last week was the viewers, the first time the viewers were seeing us. Maybe they are just doing tumbom, tumbom, you know, basket level, you know. <laughs> I know some of you all don't know what tumbom, tumbom is. It's the perfect definition of any mini money more that Biggie always say yes. So um, Anita was like, this is what the viewers did. So you would not tell me that the viewers would see all your drama for last week and not allow you to be in the bottom come this week, you know. So this is Anita giving Onyeka the ginger, you know. And then Onyeka was also telling Anita that baby girl, he said this week is a never relenting week. Show them that you are Miss MBG and that is the most beautiful girl in Nigeria. Dress up, look sweet, let the viewers feel you. Baby girl says she's no darling. So let's get ready to see Anita in her full glare like see her do her thingy and Dunyika said she herself is not gonna relent even one bit that she would continue to be herself meanwhile knowing how the um, eviction turned out today the lamentations from the housemates of being themselves you should know why already because the way this um, eviction happened it, it lies in the hands of the housemates so many of them even viewers were questioning that oh this housemates are gonna be doing eye service right now Guess what? The Wani and Handy pair said they are not even in for any eye service. But they're still going to be themselves. Come rain comes on, they are going to spill it as it hurts. They are not coming here to be actually starting, you know, leaking backside you know because of why um because of oh they would actually mention us that they are not in for that any which ways guys we all know that after the eviction according to this season's um um game it's custodians challenge Hmm, guys, hey, <laughs> wahala be like bicycle indeed. So after the eviction, one hour later, that that was around, like around 9 p.m., Biggie gathered the housemates that they should go to the arena. It was time for the custodian challenge. And you guys know one thing for sure. We all played that last week. The housemates has proper clue of what the custodian challenge is all about. Because right now, what really matters is the custodian challenge and the immunity challenge. Not like previously, well, the housemates are like, it's head of house game, we must win it. Because why? We would have immunity. But you guys already know that the season's head of house game, there is no immunity. So the housemate went in their pair to the arena, you know, all the ginger, the swagger, you know, everybody all hopes high. In fact, the pairs were praying in their numbers. Those who appeared in the bottom, who who actually got saved, you know, were praying. You needed to see the action, the pressure. You would feel it. The streets pair, they were just pacing around um the what was it called? The custodian holders, the first custodian holders, um Chini and Nene, the Ndine pair, they were praying, Oh God, please let this custodian come back to us. Oh now God will praise you. This one I'm like, oh, wait, wahala be like bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> those who have the custody and do not want to let it go they still want more and then those who have not even gotten a grip of it what do you want them to say you know even netizens they were making jest of the day nipper they were like yo this one no day to they call god who what will play out will definitely play out so anyways the housemate went in their numbers to partake on um the game biggie has for them for the custodian challenge and guess what <laughs> Guys, the streets pair, Toby and Mayo won the custodian challenge for this week. You needed to see the joy in their heart, like the display and whatnot, because yo, Mayo wanted to freeze after they 
appeared but Tom. Immediately, Ebuka left the screen, uh, telling the housemates to actually give us drama, give us show. Mayor was not himself. Neither was Toby. Like, they were pacing around. They were really, like, yo. In fact, all of the pairs were intense. Like, they were thinking, oh, the target was the custodian. And guess what? They won. Their joy has no bound. They were so happy, you know. And the housemates started farming them, you know. The uh, one and handy pair were like, oh, my friend. They were joking, actually. Calling them my friend. People who were not close to them were trying to have conversation with them. You know, that is how it is. Because everybody is trying to gain a spot. Meanwhile, guys, talking about gaining a spot. As usual, the current custodian holder, they took the box and the place it on the um, yellow um, stool. But there is a huge observation on this custodian box. We all know that last week was the introduction of custodian box. And when the Indian Nepe won this, it was three box inside this transparent custodian box. Which the Indian Nepe took one of the box. Now, currently, it is remaining two. Meaning, the mine was the one the Indian Nepe took. So we still have two extra box inside the transparent box now my observation is this it may seem as though the custodian is going to just play for three weeks the sunday the toby and mayor pair would you know showcase their custodian power next week sunday another custodian holder and that would be the last and i think that is when the pairs will be dissolved and then the real game would begin that is my own observation because if it's going to be a custodian thingy or true, they would definitely replace the box with another envelope, like, you know, another space for them to choose. It would be three again. But right here in this box, as you can see, it is two. Meaning if Toby and um, his pair, you know, do this one on Sunday, it will be remaining one, which the custodian holder would play and get it for the final. That is what I feel but let's watch it and see how it plays out. Meanwhile, the custodian challenge, you know, stirred loads of drama. You know, pairs were actually disappointed in some of their other pairs because they were divided in twos. Guess who the pair that actually had an each is the better pair, the pair that were saved last week. I think Doc, that is TJ, wants to be saved again this week. So he tried all his might because they actually blindfolded them and then they had to use the hook to bring out some things and they would give to their other pair who is not blindfolded and the other pair would later run go to the table and you know mantle some of the notes given to them there right doc is not happy because yo they already have conversation on how um ben should actually work on the notes and whatever doc said he doc played his own role he was the first person to finish while being blindfolded but other people finished before ben and he was not pleased about that and then he started asking ben how would you allow those boys finish with before you and ben did not find that funny hence why they started bringing people to their business ben was lamenting he was not pleased about that he was really complaining he even shouted at tj it was not even a small one um chizoba tried her best to you know calm ben tell ben to calm down that she she also had ish with her sister and then it was ben who, who actually solved the thingy and they listened to him that every pair go through it that um he should just calm down but after every every Ben later had conversation with TJ. TJ explained his own part and they are good again. You know? So right now, I think the focus is going to be on the um, immunity challenge. That is what the focus is going to be on right now. Meanwhile, congratulations once again to the street pair. For now, guys, I'm going to be dropping my voice to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies. <laughs>